Oh my god. Wait, that was actually just the whole end bit all wrapped up then. Oh god. I didn't know I was doing the end here. <laughs> I'm guessing cut for Weiss's stuff really a good point. Because yeah, there's just no stopping. All that stuff wrapped up into one sort of thing. One week later. So yeah, that's the general sentiment. So they want us out? Are you surprised? It was the plan all along. As in, out of the kingdom. I guess they figured, hey, Beacon's destroyed. They're going to have to relocate anyway. Might as well. I normally say they need time to grieve, but with all the dead, and the fact that Amity is going to be for, uh, is going to forever be there to remind them of what happened, I doubt this is going to fade anytime soon. We failed to protect them, and just painted a bigger target on their backs. Can't say I blame them. I'm going to miss you, Jacqueline. Oh, sure. Use that as an excuse to dump me. <laughs> Is it because I got short hair now? You wish. But I'm not so smitten with you yet that I'm trying to make a cross-country relationship work. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be relocating that far. Oh? Hey, what's happened with Jack? So, yeah, she survived, but... Oh, the pair of stuff! The damage to her spine was so extensive that they don't think she'll ever... Wait, what, 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 what? I'm so sorry, John. I should have been there. I should have been there to help. I don't think that would have helped. Wow, Jane, you've really got a way with words to cheer people up in situations like this, don't you? What did you just say to my son? I mean, okay... He's not wrong, but like, he, he should, probably should have said that out loud. I mean that from what they, uh, I mean that from what they, the professors told us. Most of the damage to the tower was done by pure semblance. Her enemy was so strong that she had to go all out. If anyone else had been there with her, I don't think she could have. I think she would, uh, I think she could win only because she was fighting alone. Is that hint that something could be different, or is that a thing? That, I don't know. It's got. I, I don't know. Probably. So what do we do? What do you think? We get strong enough that the next time she won't need to fight alone. That's a good mentality. Like that mentality. I'm sorry, Weiss. I have no clue what you're talking about. What? I forgot I left her in that outfit in this series! As far as I know, as anyone knows really, we should only be able to summon semiculars or defeated enemies. That, whatever it is you conjured, I can't explain. Wait, what? It summoned... I thought it was the Iron, I thought it was the Iron Knight person's hand. What did she summon? Less. Did you summon something that Jin beat? Because the Link did? That's, uh, it felt familiar. But then? If you don't know anything about it, figure me, but... The thing is, whatever it was, it felt like I knew it. And it knew me. What, what, what? I'm sorry to say, Wise, but... You're entering uncharted territory for our family. I don't know what to tell you. For our family, maybe. But maybe not for a Schnee. Weiss? The Schnee existed before Nicholas, before the company, before the city. The people Grandfather left behind when he came to Mantle for uh for love of grandma. Maybe the answers lie there. And not just the truth behind our semblance. The future of our family may also be out there, in the frozen wilds. The wise has got her own thing going on. All right. Looking at the extra sneeze. The ones that I thought the wake fang might have picked off by now, but right. So okay, Pyrrha seems to maybe be crippled, maybe damaged her spine, be paralyzed. Who knows at this point? God, so Pyrrha, she survives. Good. I do wonder what would happen then if you didn't do the all Pyrrha stuff. I'll need to play through this again. <laughs> but um, yeah, change some of the stuff about that. I do. By the looks of it. 
Because, yeah, I want to see what Coco's extra scene. And I do kind of want to see what the difference is when you don't pick on, like, you don't pick Neo in uh, Pyrrha's stuff. I am curious what it looks like without them and, like, if it even mentions them, what they do. That would be fun to think about. Anyway, what do you think happened down there? Your guess is as good as mine. There's only four people who know. One is dead, two are in a coma, and the other, who knows? It's going to be months before they clear all the rubble. What? Who? What? <laughs> Who's who in that? Who's in the coma? I assume that Cinder and Amber are in comas. Osbin's dead, or do they only know about Cinder? They don't know about Osbin. Which is which? When do you think she's going to wake up? Again? Who knows? But I'm sure she will. Now that she can rest easy. Once again, thank you for having us on board, Professor. Nonsense. As a highest ranking official on the Atlas Army currently on board, you can stay as much as you want. Yay! And thank you for not holding the meeting in that stuffy briefing room. Wish the weather was better, though. Oh, Glinda hates enclosed spaces like no one else. Why, one time? Violet, please. I'm kind of trying to have a serious moment here. Ha, ah, fine. Headmistress for a day, and it already goes through your head. So, how bad is it? Very bad. So... The Vale Council hasn't changed their mind. Are they actually going to kick? They can't just kick all the huntsmen out. Not at all. They want us to change our territory of Vale as soon as the injured students are able to relocate. Are able to relocate. Are able to be relocated. God, I'm struggling with words. Uh. uh I mean, uh, I kind of want to. Okay, I kind of get the idea behind it. Like, the school was a target. It didn't exactly save them. So it's like, well, you know, we could argue at that point. But it's like, and you need huntsmen, but I guess it's a school for huntsmen. Oh, I can, I can kind of get why they do it. It seems a bit stupid, but I can kind of get why they do it. Like, blah, blah, blah. like okay, they failed one time, but what about the times where they did help? And blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, yeah, cancel this, cancel stuff. And I guess any hope of keeping their funding is now a chimera. Yes. Relationship with Atlas are going to become frosty too. Now that their technology has been proven to be easily exploitable. Yeah. Our reputation is most likely going to nosedive. I know the headmaster I know that headmaster Leo has been a proven con to all this. Mishto is looking more and more like it's going to implode. Well at least headmistress Isis is able to uh, is a reliable uh, as reliable an ally as she is an accomplished fighter. Oh, the memories. Okay, that's a new person for later. Quite. Still, she doesn't have the space or the funds to accept all the students long term. So, any suggestions about what to do are welcome. Are quite welcome. So, in short, <clears throat> you need a structure to relocate the students, correct? Yep. And a community able to support the existing of a, uh, the existence of a school. Yes. And the source of funding. Either way, or a way to make money. Some kind of enterprise, but I wouldn't know where to start. My dear mate partner, have you ever thought about mining? Oh! I don't know about a prime piece of no man's land estate. That would suit your needs. Did they get all the dead bodies now out before they're going to move in? Like... I mean, I know that there's a mines in that, but they've got a right there. The time it peaked, by the way. Yeah, they cleared it peaking, made it safe. You cannot be serious. I swear on your entire supply of ice cream. I'm guessing Neil's not actually talking. Hey, you're not getting to swear on my ice cream? Anyway, one, he's never going to believe it. Two, well, he's never going to accept. Can I just read her mind? Is that what's happening here? I assume so. Probably. What's the harm in asking, then? You're going to get some laughs out of it. Um, true. 
I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So over the phone, they're texting. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, no, Neil's not talking. There's no way they're just gonna make Neil talk at the end of this without any thing about it. Like, yeah, okay, it's a text. Um, true. I guess I could go for some giant ear splitting plout. Oh wait, wait, what? Ear splitting pouts of a wheat. Oh, fine. How about I exchange that coupon for it? You've already used it. Um, excuse me? I killed two people for you already. But I didn't ask you to. <laughs> I didn't ask you. You ain't killed them on your own because you were angry. Lies! Oh, you wanted to avenge my death. So cute. But <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> Thank you, bestie. Talk to you later. Got to go now. Screw you. Die. This time for real, cheapskate. Well, that was a sort of cheeky way of getting around it. Jin, are you coming? Burr, ready for the picture. Coming. Sorry, there is not much signal over here. Over there. Are we peak? Uh, yeah, it's the first. The peak. We're next to peak then. Very interesting. That's a good way of using the plot of, you know, an area we cleared out, which, you know, no one could get near before because it was draining of desire and stuff. But now it's like, yeah, all the bad stuff's been kicked out of it. Jannard, like, knows how to control the place and make it safe and perfect if she wanted. But then... Oh, God, this song's got words. <laughs> I just heard actual singing there. Uh, yeah, yeah, the mines should be pretty safe. But so, should we do a serious pose for the first picture together? Absolutely not. We have to smell. That's still kind of hearts that are doing, though. Maybe not too big. Oh! What about a peace, a peace sign? Sorry. This is getting nowhere. Why don't you just say Jade? Like, say cheese. Oh, good idea, Titania. Be sure to do a long E, though. Oh! Well, that works, too. Sure. And we smell on the E. Oh, fine. I'll make a small one, though. On the count of three, then. One, two, three. Jade, a DVD. -E. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, thanks for playing. Oh, God, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Oh, I actually feel quite sad now. Like, that's actually just made me feel a bit emotional seeing that picture. Like, everyone's together, all happy. After everything, we're done. No, go back. <laughs> no, I can't go back! No! <laughs> oh, why is this the end of the picture? Ah! Right, there we go, back again. Yeah, literally, because I didn't save. Had to go back into the dragon fight again to get back to this scene. <laughs> and save Skadoosh. Right. So. <laughs> thoughts, things, bits. Oh, God. I'm actually done. I, I was a lot sadder until I had to replay through that last bit. <laughs> And I genuinely, I rest the picture, I just, I felt emotions well up there, because I'm like, oh god, I'm actually, I don't get to play any more new stuff on this. I'm, well, I do. Like, there's still dates and stuff, but like, I don't, that's the story done until the new, until like a second game comes out. And that's the ending we've gone with, so, interesting. Stuff with Pyrrha, Pyrrha seems to be yeah, in a coma and possibly, you know, might not be able to fight anymore. Might, maybe we'll find a way to fix it, I don't know. Amber is alive, but unconscious, Maybe? Osbin's definitely dead. We know that one. So, the everyone they're talking about is Osbin. Now, they're talking about the tower got collapsed. So, they have to dig through it. So, they don't know if Cinder's still alive or not. But, odds are then she's probably escaped. So, Pyrrha's done damage to her. And, I guess that'll be the, how... Same as, like, in the plot. She may get some groom enhancements and whatnot. So, that's pretty interesting. We're moving into Peak. So, we're still in Vale. But, we're not, like, in Vale City. We're just in the country of Vale. But, yeah, now we've got peak going on all the bad stuff and peak got uh, like moved like after you know we killed it all and then the god left so you know it's perfectly safe to go into i guess and yeah good which i guess is setting up a new beacon academy there shall be interesting i'm really looking forward to 
how, how the next game's gonna go because there's so many different things that can happen because like odds uh Ospin going into oscar salem taking a bigger step and like her allies doing stuff leonardo's already been uh, put out so there's a new head mistress over there possibly and things going on weiss has got her own little sub thing going on i don't know what ruby's deal would be okay uh, it'd be interesting now if ruby was holding a lane against grim so i probably will replay and see what her ending is just to see what all the stuff with her got how all the stuff with her goes but i oh god this has been a journey 160 what three four it depends if i split this episode or not but god a lot I spent literally i've been playing this game for years literal years it's been updated for years too i'm sure part of that time i, I stopped because of the waiting for the dance fiasco if only i'd waited a bit longer i could have just went from waste from the get-go but never mind but yeah this has been so good <laughs> like i never could have imagined I'd get this invested in this game when I first picked it up or found it, like, you know, years ago. Like, I played Ruby Veil of Darkness, which was, like, a fan game. It was, like, a RPG Maker type game. I quite enjoyed it, but, you know, it was obviously not a huge amount put into it. It was, like, an RPG Maker, couple of models and stuff like that, but that, that was basically it. And you find this game, you're like, oh, there's pictures, oh, there's a story, oh, there's a plot, and, like, that can go a lot of different ways, depending on the writing, depending on the motivations, depending on what they've got planned. No, the, right, the creator planned it for a big, long, full-on thing. There was lots of thought put into this. The, the Obviously, the quality of the pictures only ever increased as time went. So we've got this artist here, who's phenomenal what they do. But there's also the ones that aren't this one, and they're still really good. And, like, some of the older pictures, which were, you know, the older pictures were fine. But they've been replaced with even newer ones, with updated art and... Oh, there's so much good stuff in this game. There's so much good. And now seeing how it all ends, seeing the last chapter, all the build-up, you go through all the dates and stuff like that, for all those extra hidden scenes. Like, Neo and uh, Pyrrha, I'd heard about. I'd heard there was stuff going to be happening with them. So it was worth investing things into them to see them. Didn't know about Coco's, though. That one's just out of there. All right, I need to go find that at some point. And then, yeah, each character is going to have... Uh, ouch. Fifth date character. Maybe not everyone, but like, I assume at least the main four girls, and probably Pira. At least. And it maybe, I don't know. Like, like, a bunch of the girls, they're gonna have very unique stories going into the end part. Because of your connections with them. God. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun seeing how it implements more of the fifth date stuff in time, but. Ah. Oh. Unless I'm happy I'm done, but I'm not. I wish I do wish I could keep playing. <laughs> I guess, okay, I'm happy I got to see the end, finally. That is definitely worth, it was definitely worth it. It's so been worth playing this game. I recommend this game so highly. Try it yourself and build your own story in bits. Obviously, you, can, you build your own headcanon as you go a bit. Like, they don't obviously say all the bits about Jin sometimes, but you just you take the actions he does from the dates you go on, and you sort of build your own thing about Jin's mentality, or... David, in this case, is mentality. It's uh, so much fun. <laughs> right, we're not done. There are still... Like, the game's done. This is officially the end. This is the end of the game. We're finished. 164 episodes. You can, if you cut out all the extra dates and that, still a pretty lengthy thing. Like, so lengthy. I love it. But yeah, we still get plenty more extra dates to do. There's still one to about. There's an the ending for Ruby to play about with. And whenever more updates come out, there's more stuff. That. So we'll still be playing more of this. We'll still continue playing this. Part of me wonders if it's worth doing a second run through. Maybe not straight away. But eventually maybe doing a second run through. And those updated art in bits fixed. Because obviously when we first played through the story, there was more errors in bits here and there. Which all get fixed. Like, again, pros and cons of this game. Like... So there were some cons going in, uh, not cons, but like, there's there some bad bits here and there. And that was mostly, like, there were errors and stuff. Like, the game would break every now and then. But after each update, those got fixed, so those aren't really around anymore. And, like, various plot points and bits, a lot, like, it builds its, like, if you were just to jump into this from the end, you'd be like, what the hell? But no, if you've gone through the process, the journey, it's like, yeah, this stuff, it's sometimes a bit more of a stretch than others. But, you know, it makes some level of sense. How you get to where you go in that. Just run, running off the thing of those magic, those gods. People with semblances and that. 
And sure, the creator slung some of his own stuff in there. And characters have changed, obviously, because you now we've gone later seasons of actual Ruby Kai and we see what they're actually like. But bearing in mind this, that some of these characters were introduced in this game before they were introduced in the show, that show their personalities, like, you've got your own versions in here. And I'm alright with that, because again, they showed it before and, you know, they were built off of what was in here. So, basically what I'm saying is this game's really good. And. And all the like all the bits you could look at as downsides going through it as went through the years, like most of them are gone. Like the most of the little bits have been fixed and corrected and stuff, in terms of errors. And then when it comes to plot points, like the entire plot of the main story, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I'm alright with it. <laughs> I yeah, I've I've just I've enjoyed the plot of this story. I've enjoyed going through this story and all the bits in it. How many times? Each individual character, there might be some you like more than others. Like, I think I made it a thing I didn't really like Raven's one as much. I guess that's fine, because, like, you're not, you're not going to like the ending and ways each character goes. But in that case, there's so much more to go and do. Like, I I found one that I wasn't too keen on, and that's been it. And it's like, that was just my personal preference. Obviously, a lot of people loved it. And that's, you know, each to each their own. So that, but that's the thing with a big game list. You can just, if you don't like so much of a character thing, you can just pick another one. There's just so many others. I've loved so many. Freaking Nora's is a more recent one. Penny and Evelyn, I absolutely adore them. Even Jack's story stuff has been great. Like, his extra dates, bits, and bits with her. And just the character, yeah, like, Yang's, and even, yeah, Weiss's one I quite enjoyed. Pira's one with the whole extra person, or extra personality thing. Neo's was brilliant. God, Winter went from funny to sinister to emotional very quickly. <laughs> Uh, Cinder's bomb is just hilarious. I cannot wait to see if we sleep with her on the fifth day. <laughs> I love so many things in this game. I don't know how to wrap this up. I wasn't planning for this. I generally thought I wasn't going to be done. I was going to do one more video, and I was going to stop, and I was going to I thought, yeah, next time I do my short recording session, that'll probably be the end. I didn't know they were going to ram all the, the Pyrrha stuff, and the, the dragon stuff, and, well, their stuff. Uh, Roman and Neo and stuff. I didn't know they were going to put it all in together so quickly and the Y stuff and that. I didn't know it was always going to get in the game and just get all swiftly wrapped up there. I thought maybe in a few more fights and stuff. No, no, just wrapped up. I'm alright with it. But I was, I was, I was caught guard. <laughs> alright, I think that's enough ranting though. So yeah, if I haven't made the point clear though, I really love this game. I really love this game and any little bits that I've ever like said, oh, that's not working, that's like, yeah, they're all pretty much gone. The game gets updated, the game gets fixed. It runs pretty bloody good as time's gone. I've enjoyed this story, like, a lot. I've enjoyed very much, obviously some more than others, depending on your taste and that, but I've enjoyed so many of the dates and stuff in this. Some of them have been absolutely phenomenal. So, yes, thank you, creator of this, for making this. You've got a Patreon, there's a link down below to their website page thing, or it should be on the Twitter. There's a link somewhere to their thing, and from there you can go and check out the game, their Patreon and stuff, if you want to, like, get the game a bit earlier, and check all the updates and stuff like that. I've been a patron to them pretty much since after the first or second month of playing this game. <laughs> and, yeah, I've had no regrets for that. Because I've got to see some interesting stuff to take part in polls and stuff for the new dates and things, which is always nice. But, yeah. Anyway, check this game out if you haven't. But thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. This is the end of... The Ruby visual novel, JPDE, Sonata of Fire, that may be how it's pronounced. Uh, the name was added in a bit later on, so that's why it wasn't titled that from the get-go. But I, it's been bloody good. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I'll be doing all the extra bits as time goes. Might do a rerun, because, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for if we get the second game, when we get the second game. That's, I cannot wait. Oh, I feel sad saying goodbye, Liz, because it's not goodbye. It's just... Goodbye for now. There'll be more. Plus of the extra stuff. But I'm ranting now. Thank you all for watching. See you so next time for whenever Ruby Visual Novel, the second game, returns. And whenever I decide to do more of the dates and bits and Ruby's ending. See you then for that. Thank you all for watching. This has been awesome. I love this. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the Johnny members, Austin Quinzenberry, Afro Kagi, It's Ender Steve P.E., Sebastian Ramsey, and Blackest Sage. And our Unbe members, Robert Zymeka, Rapids Rug, Aragon, 
Gold Dragon, Nathaniel Prue, Akuma, and Colton Wood. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.